In this video we'll learn about the order of operations in maths. You've probably heard bit mass or bod mass or PEMDAS. It all means the same thing. So it's the order of operations. B stands for brackets, I is for indices or powers, D is for division, M for multiplication, A is for addition and S is for subtraction. So if we have a question like this, what would you do first? Would you do 2 at 3 or 3 times 4? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent this using some small cubes. So this is what it means. 2 add 3 lots of 4. So 3 lots of 4 comes as a block. 3 rows of 4 each or 3 columns of 4 each. So this one cannot be separated. That's why we've got to do that operation first. If we had something like to add 3 times 4, that would be represented like this. So that's the 2, 2 columns, add 3 columns, and then multiplied by 4 each. So there would be 4 in each of these columns. I hope this helps you understand why we do multiplication and division before we do addition and subtraction. Before we move on, I want to put here bit mass in this way. So when we've got brackets, we do brackets first. When we've got indices or powers, we do them next. And if we've got multiplication or division, we do them before addition or subtraction. But if we've got them both, we do them in the order that they're given to us, starting from the left to the right. And same thing with addition and subtraction, starting from the left to the right. And we'll do a few examples together. So if I have 7, take away 5, add 4. I've got subtraction and addition. So I'm going to do them starting from the left. So 7, take away 5, gives me 2. Add 4, makes 6. So if I have 7, add 5, Take away 4, again, I do 7 at 5 first, which is 12. Take away 4 gives me 8. Same thing when it comes to multiplication and division. So 3 times 4 divided by 2. Despite Bidmas telling me that or despite Bidmas coming before despite in Bidmas D coming before M, we still do them in the order that they're given to us from the left to the right. So three times four is twelve divided by two gives me six. So, if I have 14 divided by 2 times 3, I'm going to do 14 divided by 2 first, and then times 3. Let's have a look at some other cases.
So as you can see, we've got brackets coming first and then multiplication. So 2 add 3 is 5 times 4 is 20. So now if I have Twenty divided by two up two in brackets. So I'm going to have to do the brackets first. So twenty divided by two up two is four, and the answer is five. What if I have? 4 at 5 divided by 3 squared. So brackets will come first. So we'll do 9 divided by 3 squared. Now next would come indices. So that's powers. 9 divided by 3 squared is 9. So the answer is 1. What if we had this, for example? So we'll do brackets first, which is 9 squared divided by 3 squared. 9 squared is 81 divided by 3 squared, which is 9. And the answer is 9. If I have 4 squared, take away 3 times 2. So, indices will come first. So 4 squared is 16. Take away 3 times 2. Then multiplication will come before subtraction. So 16 take away 6, giving us 10. So brackets first, that would be 7 squared times 2 squared. 7 squared is 49 times 2 squared, which is 4. And that is 196. What if we had this instead? So we'll do brackets first, so that is 7, and that's squared, times 8, divided by 6. 7 squared is 49. 49 times 8 is 392. Now divided by 6, that gives us 65. Point three recurring and if we had this so we do brackets first 7 squared times 8 to the power of negative 2 but powers will come next so we're going to do 49 times 1 over 64, 1 64. So now we'll multiply these two. 
and you can use a calculator for that or you could just go 49 over 1 times 1 over 64 49 times 1 gives us 49 1 times 64 gives us 64 that is 49 64s as a fraction if you want to convert it to decimal then you do 49 divided by 64